It's October and you guys know what that means. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Araceli and this is Araceli Chan DIY. Well, you will see everything DIY home and hacks completely on a budget. It is October, so we are officially starting the holiday season and every year I like to kick it off with a compilation of last year's DIYs. It is perfect if you want a little refresher or if you miss them completely. So make sure you guys stay tuned and let's go ahead and jump right in. To make this DIY, you'll need one of these Dollar Tree bins or anything similar. And then I'm just adding a ton of hot glue to the bottom. I did cut up some pool noodle pieces and just attaching them. And I'm gonna stack two pieces on top of each other. I do want to make sure it stays in place so I'm taking some Dollar Tree paper bags just crumpling them up and putting them on the sides and then I'm also using three Dollar Tree Christmas trees and taping two of them together to make a taller tree. For that part it's going to be exposed and I'm doing my best with the floral tape which is green but I'm also going to be using the individual pieces of garland. These come in a pack of 12 I believe. These are also from Dollar Tree. Of course, if you guys don't have pool noodles laying around, you can use floral foam or vice versa. And you guys can see I poked a hole in there, added some glue, and then inserting the bottom of the trees into it. And the paper bag is going to take up space, so you spend less on floral moss. And I'm just topping it off with the floral moss and spraying it with some snow, and it's good to go. This Christmas pillow is super easy. You're gonna need two dish drying mats from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna keep them just as is because I want the powder on the front and then the red on the back and you're just gonna use a hot glue to close it up. If I wanted to keep this for a long time, I would probably sew it definitely sew it but for now we're gonna do the hot glue and then I do have a little bit of this pillow filling I guess but I didn't have enough to make it fluffy and nobody's gonna cuddle on this pillow or anything like that so I'm just gonna stuff it with some plastic bags you can use paper bags you can use whatever it is that you have but I'm doing this for now and that is it I know you're here and I love you for it, but if you haven't checked out my socials, make sure you do at RSLA Chan DIY. I really liked my last Dollar Tree Christmas mat, so I decided to make another one. I like the colors on this one, and I'm gonna be using a mop head as well. So on the strands, you're gonna cut it in half, then cut those two in half, and then cut those in half. So you're gonna get a total of eight pieces per strand. And all you're going to do is just start gluing all around the mat. And at first I just did the two sides, but then I decided to do all four sides. I'm really feeling the reds and greens for Christmas this year. I want to know what kind of theme you're looking for or going for this Christmas season. Let me know in the comments. All right, so for this one, I'm taking two of these round wooden pieces from Dollar Tree as well as some wrapping paper. The wrapping paper is sort of thin, but that's okay. And then I'm repurposing the snowflake that I did from the last DIY that said ho ho. So just traced around the wrapping paper and then I'm gonna glue it on to the wooden rounds just using some regular jot glue from Dollar Tree. And you guys can see <laughs> um, it's kind of bumpy, but I actually like that look. It looks just textured instead of, you know, flat. And then I just use some um, regular house paint to draw my letters on there. I'm gonna be using these picks and then also some Dollar Tree ribbon 
and it is good to go. Okay, so for these big bell ornaments, I'll be using some of these bowls from the wedding section at Dollar Tree as well as these smaller bowls. I love this hot tool for melting into hard plastic because I tried drilling a hole and it completely broke, so don't try that. So I'm just melting a hole right in the center. These are the colors that I'll be using and then I'm going to glue the two bowls together and I'm going to use a total of four bowls because I'm making two different bells. And I'm just going to take a paint marker to draw my bell design at the bottom and I realized that I actually didn't finish showing the entire thing but you guys can just take any regular bell, even the little bells from Dollar Tree and follow the design from that. That's what I did. And then I also just got a piece of rope and tied some twine around it and just stuck it into that hole because I actually want to hang these and you definitely don't want to hang it from any of the glued pieces because they will fall apart. So obviously I did spray paint the little bowls black and then I'm using these shower curtain rings also that I spray painted black and then um, you guys will see how I attach it but I'm just gluing that down to the other bowl and you guys can see I can grab it and it's not gonna fall apart on me and I can hang it and then this is just for looks just so you can tell that it's like a bell ornament and then add some bigger rope to the ends for you know that extra bellish look <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, but yeah, just glue those down and then you're able to hang these without them falling apart. To make the snowflake candy cane, you're going to need two sets of these snowflakes. These are newer to my Dollar Tree, and there's going to be a total of eight. And I'm going to spray paint them with red and white spray paint. I thought about putting them on the grass, so I did actually glue them to a planter hanger that I painted red, but you guys can just glue them to each other or choose whatever else method of doing it so you can hang them or just, you know, put them right inside of a planter. I love this DIY and it only costs $1.25. So I took one of these plain black doormats from Dollar Tree and then I used the snowflakes from the previous DIY and I killed two birds with one stone and I just put them right over and spray painted and used them as a stencil. And then I realized that I didn't want to leave any of the actual black on the mat so I spray painted throughout the whole mat and then I took some acrylic paint and some round sponge brushes and just tapped on to create like a polka dot effect and I did three different sizes just going all around the snowflakes and throughout the mat. This guy's totally in the wrong video today, but your homework for today, what kind of Christmas craft would you make with them? Let me know in the comments. I found these large Dollar Tree snowflakes and then I'm also gonna take some paint sticks and I'm gonna use a total of five and one of them I am gonna cut in half. Just so you guys know, the vinyl did come up on here, so I would leave the ends exposed and then glue it. I wouldn't put vinyl all the way across because the weight of the sign is going to make it peel off and you guys will notice it when it's hanging up, what I mean. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue the snowflakes on there and I'm just standing them up to make sure that they're nice and level. And you guys, I didn't even realize that I was going to use um, some garland to hang it up and the holes that are on the, on the snowflake, these can just be moved right over here but since it's already glued down I'm just gonna drill the hole and then I'm using a beaded garland from Dollar Tree to hang it up So 
So I bought two packs of these planters at Dollar Tree and I believe they have six each and I used eight to make a total of four sets of belts. Make sure you check out my Amazon storefront linked in the description. This gnome wreath is super easy. You're just gonna take two of the Dollar Tree Christmas trees and you're gonna zip tie them together. That way they don't move around on you. And then of course, spread out all of the branches, make them nice and fluffy. I also found this cute beanie at Dollar Tree and there's two different sides to it. And I actually kind of like the striped side better. So I'm gonna flip it inside out. Outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents There's no did you guys know there's a world outside of Dollar Tree? Well, sometimes there is, especially if you're looking for different supplies that you're not gonna find there. I have tons of stuff that I use that's not Dollar Tree. You guys can check them out in my Amazon storefront, linked in the description. All right, so I know we like the little red truck, but today we're gonna make it white, and I'm using two of these Dollar Tree uh, trucks, and then also these wooden rounds from Amazon and some Dollar Tree crates. And I am using the thicker home paint for this. I'm not using that white acrylic paint because it'll be too thin. You'll have to do tons of um, layers on it if you do that. And then I'm also using some chalkboard paint on the wheels and just painting everything up. Making plans, what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spin this. To make the hood and the roof of the truck, I am using a cork sheet from Dollar Tree as well, and then I'm also going to paint that white. And truthfully, I was just a little lazy, so I didn't actually paint the back of the truck, but looking at it now, I'll probably go back and do that. Let me give you a Christmas, 
So I'm gluing the corners of the crates together, but I'm also going to add some popsicle sticks at the bottom so it doesn't come apart on me. So originally I was going to make this out of foam board, but apparently every Dollar Tree I went to is sold out. So I'm using these presentation boards, I guess, from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to cut the sides and overlap them together and duct tape it. I would probably do glue also. I'm also using skewers on the back and just taping it like crazy. And it's not going to look pretty on the back, trust me, but it's okay. It's the front that matters anyway. So I went ahead and drew my gnome and then I added an extra piece at the top so that it could be tall enough to uh, make the hat. And then these are the same paints that I used on the little red truck or the little white truck. Um, but I'm using the chalkboard paint, the green, and then also some, am I using red on this one? No, I don't think I am. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and paint this up. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Okay, so to add up my first layer of beard, I went ahead and put a uh, folded up piece of tape right there and held it down with another one. And then I took a mop head from Dollar Tree, and I'm sure I could just take the plastic off, but my nails, it's hard to work with them. So I'm pulling all the strands out, and I used a total of three mop heads. So just pulling them out, and then I'm just going to start taping the strands down onto the tape. And I did the same for the second layer, but I went just a little bit higher and then the third layer a little bit higher than that. And then just trim the beard. I think I'm going to go out and trim it a little bit more. I want it to be pointier. And now I'm just going to take a piece of wood and some foam or some pool noodle, sorry. And I'm going to make a base for the back because I don't want this thing falling over, especially because I'm going to have it outside. And just drilled some holes, added some glue and put some skewers on there. And then I put the um, pool noodle right over that. And I'm just going to tape the heck out of it on the back of the gnome and I also did glue the bottom to the wood and again I don't want it falling over you guys could always hang it if you'd like but I'm also going to be using two pieces of fabric from Dollar Tree I told you guys it was not going to look cute on the back but it doesn't matter it just it looks cute from the front and you guys can see I'm leaving it a little bit slouchy and I had just enough to cover the whole hat and I found one one of these scarves at Dollar Tree as well I'm going to put that right on the rim of the hat and then using a Dollar Tree ornament that I spray painted as the nose and it's all done. Let me give you a Christmas moment will fill with love and joy. Love and it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby. I know you guys enjoyed this video, but if you're not quite ready to jump into the Christmas spirit, make sure you guys check out this video for all the fall DIYs that you may have missed. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!